So guys, I am back with another First Descendant video and today guys, I'm going to showcase to you an early game mission for players below a level 30 where you can earn tons of ultimate modules as well as the odd Transcendent module too. This one you do not want to miss. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So massive credit out to my pal Mill Gaming who actually showcased this one to me. Uh, if you do want to check him out and show him some love, you'll find his channel link down below. Posting some great, great First Descendant videos over there. So what we have here guys is an early game farm for players. You can take part in the mission literally guys takes you between three or four minutes to run it convince and repeat this thing and you get a ton of those ultimate modules as well as those transcendent modules too so the mission guys if we come to your map now the third destination you will unlock after albion we've got kingston we've got sterile land and then we have vespers this is where you need to come to so upon vespers guys down within the lost supply depot we have this mission right here called the sepulcher does that say sepulcher no idea but we see right there guys we can see many wars we have the electric condens which is a mod specifically for bonnie which i actually got guys which we'll talk about in a quick second but you can also see we get a couple of ultimate things there too now what i will say is it drops way more than this i've had a transcendent module for both bonnie and lepic i've had tons and i mean tons of those ultimate modules too which are not showcased there and i'll show them right now uh, before i show you a quick rundown of the actual mission so all these guys i've had from there i've literally had all well not, not the level 10 i had that for a long time but this one i've had from there and i've deleted dismantled tons of them too so yeah there's a load of these that will drop for you now in regards to descendant modules guys that's the one i just got um, I actually got this halfway through. I was thinking it was a boss drop, but it ain't actually a boss drop. I got it from an elite enemy halfway through the mission. You'll see this on the screen now. But it's actually where that enemy is. I was a bit late to the to the show. I was messing around with my inventory. My, play, my pal was running it for me. But as I got to the halfway point, it was waiting there on the floor for me. But this is where you will meet an elite enemy. And I also guys got this thing right here for Lepic and the ultimate Lepic. This is an exclusive chance to recover MP when using this skill, so not bad at all. So you guys, but you're also seeing on screen now, thanks to Mill Gaming, a couple of other drops from the boss of this mission. So yeah. A great great one to farm and like i said it's um the chances of you getting the transcendence are like a two percent chance probably lower than that but the ultimates are quite common so it's a great great farm and you're seeing it on screen now so what you want to do guys is come to this mission on vespers and simply run it and i'll run it with you so yes guys come to vespers come to this point right here fast traveling and load up this mission on your right hand side simple as this okay so once you load in guys will be aware and you want to do this in a public lobby too just makes things a lot lot easier and with the more people that see this more people that will run it and the faster and more efficient it will be so again just run forward now you'll notice the enemies a few of these enemies you have to take out but a few of them you can leave behind but the enemies with the yellow diamond with the yellow triangles above their head you have to take these guys out uh, i mean like i said if it's not long that it's so quick to run this like i said we're running it on like an average of three minutes per run and that's just me and my pal together uh, when we add random dribbles to it's a team of four a party of four you run this in sub three, three minutes quite easily guys so yeah see the yellow dime the yellow triangles those are the guys you must take out to progress so yeah simple as that just run forward any enemy you see with those yellow di uh, triangles take it out it's not too much as about you can see my pals just ahead of me taking out everything making life a lot easier because they're higher level than me but hey you gotta do what you gotta do so you'll keep focused on there's a few terminals you have to interact with to open up the ways and shiz but other than that it's just simple and like i said um the only one thing you have to worry about apart from the annoying ass enemies there we have to shoot them in a certain point man oh man that's so annoying uh, but other than this guys this area right here there's a few more enemies that will spawn in take these dudes out and we run down and make your way through here 
Simple as this. Now this is basically the boss of Una. You take out a, like a single wave of enemies. Besides this first group. This first group you take out. And beyond these guys, you simply just jump up top. Yeah, activate another machine. See me got a nice little level there too. I was earning great XP from this as well. I also say transcendent mods as well as the ultimate mods. You also earn a ton of the Kuiper shards too. Yeah, so you activate that terminal or that machine. I think you break the wires. And more enemies spawn in. A few up top, a few below. Uh, you take these out. Uh, another wave will come through with a big guy. Take them out and then the boss comes through. And it really is uh, that simple. And the boss, it's, the boss has got one annoying like mechanic to him. Where he just lights up the floor and if you're standing in those pools, you just go flying. So damn annoying. So damn annoying. Okay, so there's the boss. I just sit back with my scout, popping him off. But, I mean, look how quick he dies. He dies, I mean, he gets health by that. So he's got a couple phases to him. And this phase here, if you're inside that, like, pulls it'll blast you away. And then things there on the floor, they absolutely obliterate. Don't do much damage to you. But just a pain in the ass. Absolute pain in the ass. So yep, you just take him out. Simple as this, these things there, see how you get blown up again. Once you get caught in one, you get thrown towards others, just bouncing all over the place. And there's another wave being done. One more wave. Or the adds one. You have to take these ads out before you can do damage to him. So take this all out. Is me running bun most annoying thing with bunny is me in a super. And even one of her abilities and just running and getting stuck in her thing. So it slows down all that momentum. Does my absolute momentum. Oh, there we go with them damn old things. Pain in the ass. And there you go guys. Simple as that. Quick, quick, quick win. And you can see here I've got two or three uh, ultimate items there as well. So yeah, guys, and that is it. That's the farm. Rinse and repeat the mission. Simple as that. You can restart it from at the end of the mission. So go into the, uh, the reward screen and restart the mission from there. Jump straight back in. Rinse and repeat. Really is that easy, guys. And there we have it. An amazing farm for early players to take advantage of these amazing drops real early on. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, we'll see you on that next one.